two things that have to happen. One is categorization, starting to create this list and different types of investors. And, you know, there's all kinds of CRMs out there that are really geared towards this. And I recommend using one because you want to try to capture as much information as you can about these potential investors. And you want to be able to keep notes. And you also want to have a way of how did I find out about them? So was it from an article? Was it from an event? Now, as you go forward, you want to understand that just because somebody says no today doesn't mean they're going to say no as you continue to grow. So you're trying to establish some form of connection so that you can continue to tell your story, tell your progress, even reach out when you're struggling, not because you're struggling because of the finances, but you don't know how to get over this hump. Have you had experience in doing something like this? What were some of the outcomes of that? So you're starting to create some kind of advisory, maybe not formal, but I would value your opinion kind of thing. So you want to be able to track that relationship. And if you can get them to engage at some point so that you have an email, you can then send updates. You can send, hey, we were able to accomplish this. Your advice was so invaluable. So you're showing that you're continually to work forward. And so when you get to later stages, they're already engaged and they're more willing. Maybe it's not right for me at this time, but now let me introduce you to this group. And so those kinds of relationships really start early on and they build over time.